Hello and welcome to Library Connection. I'm Mandy Cantrell, Youth Services Director at the B.B. Comer Memorial Library here in Sylacauga. I'm glad to be back in the studio to record a program today. I want to thank Robert for all his help with, with us doing that. Uh, they, they're great here at the station to work, work with us to produce our programs. Well, today I've got two guests. Isaac Jennings is joining me today, working with SAFE, and he's a hometown hometown young man. I sort of say hometown boy, but you're a young man, I know. And then his godmother, Katina Harris, is here. We're going to talk a little bit about Isaac and what, what he's doing now and a little bit about how you got started here. So first, Isaac, tell us uh, 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 about yourself. Okay, so thank you, uh, Mandy, for having me today. Um, I'm Isaac Jennings, a native of Sylacauga, Alabama, uh, son of Reverend Michael Jennings and Phyllis Jennings. Uh, I went to high school here, Sylacauga High School, grew up in the community. Um, uh, uh, a product of hippie. Oh, good. <laughs> yes, we're going to talk about that. We're we'll talking about that um, a little bit. And uh, <laughs> just really coming back to my community from just graduating, um, getting my master's, and excited to be here. Great, great, yeah. And Katina? Uh, yes, um, good morning. Good morning. It's a blessing to be here. Um, my name is, of course, Katina <coughs> Harris, and I um, also I've been here all my life, 47, yeah. 47 years. Um, been doing hippie for 23 years. Oh, uh, really? Well, July the 31st will be 23 years. Right. Um, going into the home, and of course, you know, uh, my godson, you know, <laughs> so yeah. blessed. And he, uh -huh. He's definitely a blessing. I thank God for him being back here. Um, and, you know, it's just. It's just a blessing to be here, and I appreciate yeah. you. Well, I know you and I have worked together with yes, the, the Word of the Week, with Hippie Word and of the Week, yes, like that. So, yes, yeah, ma'am, right. yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Well, that's what we're going to start with. Uh, Hippie is a wonderful program. It's home instruction for parents of preschool, preschool. youngsters. Yes, ma'am. I have to practice on Sunday. <laughs> you got it. It is a wonderful program. Yes, ma'am. We've worked with them at the library and said, you started that right, with Isaac right. when he was... He was four, four years old. Four. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Tell us a little bit about the program and what kind of things you did with Isaac and the other uh, students. Well, the program is an early learning program for kids that um, used to be three, four, and five year old when Isaac did right. it. Um, but now it's two, three, and four year olds. Okay. Um, and what we do, we go into the home and we uh, bring out a curriculum. And the curriculum is for the parent to do the lesson with, your, with their child. It's a, um, it teaches the parent to be their child's first teacher. So when they get in the school, they get used to doing um, the work with their child. And uh, with Isaac, um, when he, you know, did hippie, mm -hmm. uh, of course his mom did it, you know, uh -huh. and then um, in a little while I kind of took over a little bit. Um, he worked on shapes and his alphabet, his numbers, his colors and mm -hmm. comprehension. Um, um, skills, you know, of course when you right. read books, and, yes. you know, <laughs> that, that's what we promote, you know, the library, the kids, right. you know, they go to the library and get books, but reading those books to um, him and teaching him all his alphabets and know how to write and mm -hmm. uh, do all the things that he needed to do, you know, it impact him through uh, school. It helped him when he got in <clears throat> kindergarten. He was prepared already when he got there. All so right. uh, he knew his alphabets, he knew his colors, he knew his shapes, he um, comprehend well yeah. by, you know, knowing <clears throat> what the story from the beginning, middle, and yes. end, the title and the author of the illustrator. Um, and uh, so he knew those things when he got there. So yes, it prepared him and he did very well. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, I well think way back to when you were four. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you may not remember much yeah. of that. But, uh. Uh, well, yeah, that's the, that's the biggest thing um, I think is it kind of brings back memories when I see those different yes. things. I was telling my godmom, um, I, when I see those shapes and stuff, it brings oh, back those memories. Yes. I'm like, I remember doing activities. that, those activities. Oh. And I think uh, really, um, it, hippie was really the first practice for education for me. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I always live by that. The statement now is practice makes permanent. So those things became permanent right. um, within my life and starting kindergarten and yeah. being able to progress along the way. and not have a hard time doing it so that's great yeah. that's great I know you don't remember a lot from when yeah. you're three four and five yeah. I don't either but, but uh, I know it does it yeah. does give you that firm foundation to start with even you know you might and it's not just reading and mm -hmm. math and yeah. things it's yes. uh, hopping skipping yes. bouncing balls yes. uh, science mm -hmm. things, but easy yes. things that I yes. love hippie we 
I talk about it with our, you've been to my story time. Yes, ma'am. Talk to them. Yes, so, ma'am. How yes, can ma parents sign up? Well, um, you can sign up by uh, either calling uh, to save. Uh, right now, I know because of COVID-19, yeah. um, they will probably have to either um, give uh, our number to someone to uh, call. Um, I do believe Becky uh, Epperson and mm -hmm. Pam, uh, Pamela Sims' number is on uh, the flyer, right. but you can call and we can do it over the phone. And okay. um, right now, because Safe is not open, it's hard to you know go by and do an application. So we would love for you to give us a call yeah. and uh, sign up. Like I said, it's age two, three, and four year old, and it's get them ready for school. You know, um, I have kids that don't graduate from college. Master's yeah, there you go. <laughs> degree <laughs> uh -huh. and graduating from high school, you know, just recently, just proud to see a lot of my hippie children um, seeing they made A on a row and AB oh. on a row and, you know, 3.4 average uh, APR and, you know, four points. So, you know, yes. it's, it's good when you have that. Uh, that program to help your child succeed, wow. you know, in school and help you. Because I know being a parent, it was hard trying to find those things you need. But when you have something in your mm -hmm. in your present, yeah. right there, that you don't have to look up things, you got it yeah. there to prepare you for your child's success. Wow. Um, it's wonderful. So please give yeah. us a call. We would love to have you. We would love yeah. to. Uh, see your beautiful children and smiles, and also, you know, we we there not just to. Um, help you educate your children, but we also there as a, a friend, uh, someone you can talk to yeah. or give you assistance to save, yeah. you know, all the yes. programs that we have at all SAFE. All the programs, mm -hmm. right. Yes, ma'am. Well, I, like I said, we love uh, the, your program uh, because yes, it helps children begin, uh, get ready for school, uh, and I, like you said, they hand you a curriculum. Yes, So, you know, because I might forget some things that yes. I need to teach, skipping, uh, things like that, you know, cutting yeah. apples, cutting in halves, things yes. like that, uh, but it's so nice to have it handed right to you. Yeah. And to teach parents how to do that. Yeah. Yes. A lot yeah. of people don't, they don't know exactly how to help young children, mm -hmm. but, uh, and right. that's fine, but I'm glad y'all do that. Yeah. So, yeah. And look, you might have somebody graduate with their master. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> well, that is great. So I know this was something you did once a day, probably. Yes, yeah. ma'am. The lesson mm -hmm. is a five-day lesson plan. Mm -hmm. um, it's only, uh, you do it day by day. Wow. Um, and it only takes 10, maybe 15, 20 right. minutes. I always say according to how that child right. is. Because yeah. if that yeah. child loves doing it, it might take them a little bit longer sure. to do, do it because like you said, we do things where they hop and they jump and they sing songs oh. and, and kids love it. And of course they love the books, um, special uh, wear spot. You, yeah. They love it no matter what. <laughs> if they don't get all the way up to the five-year-old, they always said that's their yeah. favorite book. And they're given all the materials. They, everything right. is free, totally free. Um, you don't have to come out of pocket for anything. Mm -hmm. uh, we give you all the materials that you need. We give you the book. We give you the lesson. We give you the crayons, glue, scissors, scissors uh, erasers, everything you need to do to help prepare your child for school. We supply those things. Now, there are some things that we can't supply, right. of course, and that stuff that come out of your kids. <laughs> yeah. 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 We can't uh, sure. supply those, but we try to supply as much as we can uh, have, you know, have to or need to to help that parent succeed. Right. So yes, but so they just call say they just call um, call say anyone within our county. Ta yes, ma'am, Talladega, uh, Talladega County, uh, which is the um, north and the south end of Talladega mm -hmm. County, which those cities are. You know, Chillisburg, Talladega, Lincoln, Montford, mm -hmm. uh, Fayetteville. Um, we do all those areas. Uh, Alpine. If you live in those areas, mm -hmm. please give us a call. We'll be happy to serve you. And I know coronavirus has changed a lot yes. of things, yeah. and so you're doing some of it online or yes, virtual, virtual. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, due to the um, coronavirus, we had uh, to finish up our year wow. doing. Um, virtual, which is Zoom or by phone, because okay. uh, some parents, you know, didn't have the access of computers yeah. to do uh, Zoom, so we did some by phone. But yes, um, we, right now, that's where we at right now. Making plans. Making, <laughs> and yes, we still making plans of how we're going to do it, but for now, it's, it's going to be virtual for Ooh, right Right. I'm sorry, Isaac, we've just yeah. almost ignored you talking <laughs> no, about it. No, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> but uh, we're going to pause for a commercial break, and we'll come right back and talk with Isaac. Coosa Valley Medical Center. 
one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room, to surgery, to cancer treatment, to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick, in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. Home making you sick. Moisture and unsafe air from your crawl space can infiltrate your home, causing health hazards and high utility bills. Ox Foundation Solutions can remedy any mold or mildew problem in your home. It's time to get strong. How strong? Ox strong. Get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Marble City Pharmacy in Sylacauga is your destination for the highest quality health care. Our knowledgeable pharmacists are always available for questions about your medications or advice on taking over-the-counter products and supplements. Our friendly staff can assist you in choosing from our full lines of compression hose and medical equipment. And don't forget our gift department. We have a great selection of unique gifts for every occasion. Stop by and see us today. Marble City Pharmacy, here for life. Hello, welcome back. I'm Mandy Cantrell. I'm talking with I Isaac Jennings. Uh, we, I know Patina and I talked <laughs> most of the first part, but now we're going to concentrate on you. Now, I know you, you finished school here and you've come back and you're yep. working with SAE. Right, what, right, what is your right, position right, with SAE? So, um, actually, a uh, site supervisor for AmeriCorps, okay. as well as an uh, academic tutor for Pathways Juvenile Diversion Programs. Wow. Um, and I'm currently learning more and more about them. I've only uh -huh. been here for about uh, two weeks now. So, oh, wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's been Good. really an introduction to uh, SAFE again for me. Um, yeah. From, yeah. Far, from being far removed for two yeah. years. So You're on the yeah. other side of the I'm, desk. I'm on the other of. side of the desk. <laughs> that's More great. administrative things right yeah, now. So. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Well, how nice to have somebody young, uh, I mean, you know, to work with. Young men especially, yeah. I think. That's yeah. great. But uh, So you grew up here in Silicaga, went I did. to school. I did. Um, so I uh, started off at Indian Valley Elementary. Uh -huh. Um, this was early 2000s, so yeah. <laughs> uh, um, I'm trying to reach back into my memory bank. I know. Honestly, uh, then went on to Nichols Lawson Middle mm -hmm. School, uh, and finally finishing off at Sylacauga High School. Right, right. Um, yeah, it was really some great experiences uh, right. throughout school here. What kind of things were you involved in in, um, in high so, school, I guess? Uh, so high school, <clears throat> mainly, um, I, I became an athlete like my sophomore year, okay. didn't play sports freshman year things like that and once you start to get into the sports area yeah. um, you start learning a lot about people um, meeting a lot of people um, I was a, a, a track and field athlete as well as a okay. football athlete so um, really involved in those in a few clubs. Yeah. You were busy though, oh. with practice and <laughs> yeah. games and meets. For I'm sure, for sure. Fall well, and spring, round, yeah. Didn't it? All well the yeah, well yeah, because you're, you're constantly training for it. Every other sport. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Now, I know you did go on to Troy. Go Trojans. I, I did. Uh, yeah, go Trojans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you went on to Troy, and were you on the track and field team? Too? I was. Uh, it was really interesting on uh, how I got involved with uh -huh. the track and field team. Um, of course, uh, graduating high school, I didn't. I wasn't even sure if I wanted to go to college. Sure. Um, so uh, with the community, my parents, um, and just having so much support, uh, I went on to Troy. Um, I got involved with the track team. I, I walked on. Um, I know I wanted to be involved with uh, a sports team there and just being being able to meet people. So that was a that was more of a social thing for me. Right. Um, it is a great way. Yeah. To meet people. Join something. <laughs> Join something. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I walked on and uh, I later became a, a scholarship athlete. Wonderful. Um, and. Finally, my senior year, I was a team captain so, oh, of the team. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so, How wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Now, with track and field, do y'all travel to different oh, places? Yeah, yeah. I'm not that, as familiar with it was, track and field. It was a great introduction to traveling. Uh -huh. um, I know a lot of people join the military for it. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's um, a little but, bit lower key. Uh, but, yeah. being, uh. <laughs> but being an athlete, uh, I really was able to travel a lot. Okay. Um, we, Of course, being in the Sun Belt Conference, a lot of the oh, traveling right. was in the South. Sure. Um, Texas, Louisiana, Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, yeah. things like that. 
Um, so those were great introduction for me to be able to see different parts of yeah. the United States. <laughs> yes, and meet other people <laughs> right, from right. other places. You, you network. <laughs> That's right. And even at Troy, there's people from all over the world. Right. You know, or at which all universities. Which being yeah. like the biggest international university. Right. So. Yeah. Well, great. Yeah. <laughs> so you finished at Troy, and what what was your major? I did. So um, I was a, I majored in uh, hospitality, sport, and tourism management, oh, wow. um, okay. with a concentration in sport and fitness management, okay. um, and a minor in leadership development. Wow, that sounds like a lot. <laughs> That's a mouthful yeah. there. Yeah, That's it is. Great, though. Yeah, it is. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. you finished there, and. I did. Then decided uh, to get your yeah, master's. So, <laughs> getting my master's uh, was really, uh, it, it, <laughs> I'm not going to say impulsive, but oh, I, it, was, okay. it, was, it was a journey um, uh, because I wasn't really focusing on it at the moment. Right. Um, getting my master's uh, came from a senior seminar class my senior, oh, my senior okay. year at Troy. Wow. Um, I was in the spring of, uh, it was March, around March. Um, and we had to do an assignment for a startup position that we wanted to go into. Um, and Midland University, which is in Fremont, Nebraska, okay. uh, they offered the position um, and everything would be paid for. Uh, so oh, <laughs> so uh, a classroom assignment turned into a master's. Oh uh, my goodness, so. <laughs> that's great! And what a uh, and everything was paid for. That is, yeah. you had to do yeah. that. <laughs> if I had known you then, I said you better jump on this. That is great. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. I, I will say it's it's a big sacrifice. Uh, having everything paid for a min, uh, uh, a minimum stipend for me every month. <laughs> so, oh well, so <laughs> that's true. I sacrificed in that area, but yeah. didn't have to worry about food. A uh, place to live, mm -hmm. a um, uh, place to work out. They give me a free membership. Oh, uh, good. But yeah, everything else, everything was paid for. Wow. Yeah. So kids, take advantage because yeah. it was probably a rough. How long for were you sure. at Midland? I, I was uh, there. I was in Nebraska for two years. Two years. Yeah, two years. So <laughs> definitely take advantage. Probably rough at the time, but I bet when you look back, aren't you glad you did it? Yes, for sure. It was one getting used to the the environment, um, a change in culture, oh, um, yes. uh, being a culture shock from coming from the south. Um, sure. The weather. Uh, <laughs> oh gosh, yes, I thought about that. <laughs> the weather was the definitely weather. something I was trying to get used to being the coldest uh, winter out in Nebraska in a uh, hundred years. Oh, uh, so, just your luck. You yeah, it was, oh, it was my luck. Yes. Wow. So were you on the track and field team there? Or? No, so I was a, a graduate assistant um, coach, okay. uh, uh, which is a GA. Uh, yeah. Okay. And uh, so I coached primarily horizontal jumps, sprints, and hurdles. Okay. Um, so that's the the give and take. You, you give your service mm -hmm. of being a, a track and field coach and serving the team and they yeah. pay for your education so awesome i'm glad there <laughs> are pro programs out there like that yeah so, right so then uh tell me your your degree at at Mi Mid midland midland midland, yeah. Yeah. midland. <laughs> midland okay. university uh so my degree was adult organizational learning um and leadership uh with a concentration in coaching and mentoring ship Okay. Um, it's a mouthful. I know. That's okay. <laughs> um, but it's, it's, it's really exactly what it's saying, yeah. um, adult organizational learning. Um, okay. Really observing and learning about adults in an organization, um, okay. whether it's uh, social cognitive theories or mm -hmm. um, whether it's analyzing and learning how to help adults adapt to current situations such as okay. now as yeah. coronavirus. Oh, yes. Uh, Gosh, yes. <laughs> but, with, but adult adult organizational learning you're pretty much a, a ongoing learner um, okay. as being an adult now I'm realizing yeah. that learning doesn't stop at a certain age that is so <laughs> true I'm glad you said that that's true we keep learning and, keep, and should keep learning exactly all the time. for well, sure that's awesome. and you said the mentoring and the coaching mentoring and coaching yep. yeah. <laughs> you must have had some good mentors and coaches uh, growing up I, I did uh, a lot of them uh, come to mind um, even in high school uh -huh. Um, and later went into college where it became more hands-on and you start to be able to learn um, about your coaches and learn what coaches are there for. Yeah. Um, uh, and then when I got to Nebraska, um, mentoring and coaching was really essential for me. Yes, because <laughs> um, you were coaching. Right. Oh, goodness. Yes. <laughs> right. And, and I, I, I was able to connect with a lot of people. Uh, I know here locally um, I was able to connect with um, my uh, Dr. Monty Abner, 
Yes. Um, he was a mentor for me. Um, and just thinking about mentoring, uh, my parents were my first mentors. Oh, so. <laughs> I'm so glad. That is so important. My, they were yes, my first. And parents then are. It went to my best friend being my brother. Um, oh. So I definitely had some great mentors. And, That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> we're going to pause for a commercial break, and we'll be right back and talk a little bit more with Isaac. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top ten hospitals in Alabama, is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room to surgery to cancer treatment to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick in Alabama, choose one of the top ten hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. Home making you sick. Moisture and unsafe air from your crawl space can infiltrate your home, causing health hazards and high utility bills. Ox Foundation Solutions can remedy any mold or mildew problem in your home. It's time to get strong. How strong? Ox strong. Get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Marble City Pharmacy in Sylacauga is your destination for the highest quality health care. Our knowledgeable pharmacists are always available for questions about your medications or advice on taking over-the-counter products and supplements. Our friendly staff can assist you in choosing from our full lines of compression hose and medical equipment. And don't forget our gift department. We have a great selection of unique gifts for every occasion. Stop by and see us today. Marble City Pharmacy, here for life. Welcome back to Library Connection. I'm talking with Isaac Jennings, who, and tell me your title at Safe Get, or do you, or uh, site, site, site Supervisor for AmeriCorps, yeah. and um, uh, ju uh, Academic Tutor for uh, Pathways Juvenile Diversion Program. Right, great, right. okay. <laughs> so talk about those, I know the Site Supervisor. Site Supervisor, yes. so um, okay. with being in this position for two weeks, I'm currently yeah. still. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm throwing I'm, these questions I'm at still, you. I'm <laughs> no, you're fine. Yeah. I'm learning so much about it. Um, okay. And I know this week is currently, well, I'm going to be diving more into that area. Um, I know Pathways won't really start until the fall for me where I'm going to be diving right into sure, that. So yeah. I'm kind of easing myself onto yeah. each position. <laughs> ah, what is the pa Pathways program? Can you um, talk a little yeah, bit more so about it? Yeah, so Pathways, uh, I'm learning about it, but Pathways mm -hmm. Juvenile Diversion Program um, is pretty much helping uh, teenagers get on the right path. Um, right. That Just have, what it sounds that, like. Yeah, that's that have may may been in trouble with the law, um, and just helping them academically, um, socially, things like that, wow. and just helping them to be able to be successful. That's great, and how yeah. nice to have a young man who has worked hard and done well. Uh, that's easier than listening you know, to your grandmother tell yeah. you what yeah. to do. Yeah. I, you know, so yeah. I think that yeah. is awesome. That's yeah. great. But this is not your first experience working with SAFE, no, right? No, no, it isn't. Yeah. So, um, yeah, thinking about my first my first experience uh, came from my godmother um, introducing me to uh, SAFE again, yeah. uh, uh, graduating from Troy. Oh, well, graduating from high school, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I went into a position as a, uh, a gardener with uh, the, the community, community garden. The community yeah, garden. That's great. <laughs> um, and I was able to do that throughout Troy, um, coming uh -huh. back the summers that I wasn't in class um, and wasn't training for oh. track. So <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, I was able to work in the garden. Uh, and help out with Mr. Bill Roberts. Oh, um, yeah. He's wonderful. <laughs> and, um, did that all the way up until my senior year. Um, and after I graduated from Troy, I went to work in Denver uh, for a, um, a nonprofit organization, Christian wow. organization, yeah. YouthWorks, as a site director. Coming back, yeah. I uh, got back on with uh, SAFE. Oh, wow, good. <laughs> um, I was a fitness instructor with Get Healthy Talladega County. Yeah. Um, and uh, was going around to the sites in uh, Talladega County uh -huh. as a fitness instructor. Um, and finally left again, that's when I went to go get my master's. Yeah. Um, and everything just kind of revolves back around. It does, it comes back. <laughs> it comes it? back around that's and interesting. Um, just recently reached back out and 
now involved with SAFE again. That is great. So. Well, I'm I'm from here too and went away to school and came back and yeah. so I, I love living here in Silicago. Yeah. I, I enjoy it. So it's not always nice to see people come back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I did want to ask you a little bit. We talk about uh, mentoring and coaching and things like that. What exactly is me mentoring and why is that so important? Yeah, um, so mentoring for me um, is really just advice or training from mm -hmm. someone in a, a field of expertise that they may have a lot of experience in okay. um, and being able to really pay that experience back to whomever they decide to pay it back to right. um, and just paying that education in a sense yeah. so that's that's been uh, my biggest motivation uh, mentoring um, I know growing up uh, besides my parents my church family my community right. I didn't have uh, yeah. much mentoring experience or mentors to kind of guide me throughout mm -hmm. school um, so that's been a big motivation yeah. for me. How wonderful. And yeah. I know, like I said, you're the perfect person to talk to these young men and, and young women too, I know, mm -hmm. but uh, that's great. So what are your plans? So you've been here two weeks and I'm yeah. throwing this at you, I know that, but y'all yeah. are busy making plans. And yeah, so uh, my plans uh, currently um, with SAFE in general is just being able to um, impact in whether it's small or big. Um, and that's impacting my community, um, impacting someone through a conversation. Um, and really, it's really been kind of unclear um, at the moment. And I know that I've always had a vision um, on how I want my plans to be. But sometimes you just, sometimes you really don't know. Um, and just let kind of God lead you in, in making those decisions. So That's true. That's true. He surprises yeah, us sometimes, yeah. doesn't he? He does. But that's okay. He does. And I know coronavirus has yeah. has made uh, everyone make a lot of changes. Definitely. Uh, a lot more online things. Yep. Virtual yep. So, um, coronavirus has definitely impacted uh, just the work industry in a whole. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. You have a lot of Zoom meetings and things like mm -hmm. that, um, and just trying to adapt to the current times. Right. Um, I know working right now with 21st Century. Uh, Bridges After School program, yes. um, we're, we're, we're giving out these uh, STEM activity boxes to, today okay. um, to, the, to the youth, um, and we're having to do those lessons. Well, I'm not per se doing the lessons, <laughs> <Yeah>. but <we're, laughs> they're, delete, yeah, the they're doing there. the lessons um, through Zoom, um, meeting with them uh, three times a week. So. Um, yeah. And STEM is science, technology, Dining, engineering, engineering, and math. math. I also right. do pro programs with yeah. Donna Bridges. Right. Bridges is a great program too. Right. I enjoy that. I enjoy getting yeah. to know them. Yeah. And they're not being at, they're not able to meet in person, but still yep. staying connected. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I think that's that's really the hardest thing right now because you're having to try to get uh, kids to stay on Zoom uh, yeah. and connected in being able to educate right. them when they're used to in person contact. Yeah. Well, uh, I like in person better, yeah. but I think soon, <laughs> soon we're making it work. Yeah, so. we are. <laughs> well, we are almost out of time, but I just appreciate you, Isaac, coming today. Um, I know you came by the library one day. Yeah. We were talking about grants and I'm signing some <laughs> things, but uh, and I was very impressed. So I was glad you oh, were you. here to talk to us, and Katina also for joining us. Um, so please call Safe at. 256-245-4343 if you want to sign your child up for the hippie program it's wonderful and uh, they have a lot of other services there too and we'd love to have you come by the library too we are open now fully open so thank you for joining me on library connection